Well, good morning everyone. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you are doing okay. So, I've got for us today, I've not done one of these before, it's a Mendip Churchill 8, I believe, is the model. Um, and I thought I'd do one of these because the... I think the Churchills have some funny baffles inside. So, what I'm going to do is... Um, just tidy up as normal. I'm all plugged in. Vacuum is ready. Always tidy up beforehand. There's a lot of dust hanging around, ash and whatnot. And the, uh, the fan on the drill will blow around, so just get the main up if you can. Now I've got a new camera stand. So let me know if you like the new position and then I won't get, a, well, I'll try not to get away, get in the way as much. Okay, so first things first is to uh, get the baffle out. A bit of a glare going on, aren't we? Let's get that around there. There go. Now there's two bricks in the top here and there's a metal piece that slides over the front and it keeps over the joint and it stops them moving around individually. You see that? Let's get you back there. See that? Put that there. And then I believe the bricks just manipulate out like so. Let's give it a vacuum off. I haven't done a Churchill for a while. Now the customer says the grate's broken, he's got a new one in order, but we'll have a look at that. Now I think these models have some baffle arrangement so it's a bit of a pain in the backside um, there is a Churchill model with some funny little flat bits two of them and they're, and they're a bit of a bugger this one's a bit different um, I have done one of these before but not for a long time so Let's, uh, let's get you down there. Okay. Angle it up. Give you a clean. Get that like that. Can we see? Okay. See that? Get me some further. You have to bear with me, it's a new a new thing I've got and I'm not familiar with how it operates. Something along those lines. I'll get you in. Oh yeah. Okay, so I'm going to leave all the bricks in for now. I believe this piece lifts off somehow. Like so. Messy on your gloves. There we go. 
Gosh, it's noisy. And it's uh, got, got some hooks on it. Look. And they hook over the top there. You see? And those things stop it tilting forward. Those things stop it tilting forward while it's hooked on. Okay, and then there's another little baffly thing there. Which, uh, Move, get the magnet, get the magnet in there. This allows you to wiggle it out like that. A bit of fire cement stuck behind it. Okay, so uh, we're into the flu. Get the torch. I've got a new torch. I bought it a couple of days ago and I bought this one because you can focus the beam on the old one it was um, really bright but unfocusable and I, I felt I needed to have a focus beam back so this was fitted not long ago by a local stove shop that's since closed down actually just over the road for about five minutes okay yeah no problem a right, flexible liner I'm gonna fit uh, sweep it with just a stiff stranded whip head. Yeah, and we've got a straight up there like so. Stick another one on. Just get it in a bit further. Sheepdog joining me. So I'm going to move you back now um, so we can continue just the sweeping. Put you there. Hope you can see okay. Plastic sheet. It's normal. Now these things have like a big. We've got a curved door and uh, like a big immovable piece here. We've got to work around that. And of course, it's got a gap in here which allows air into the stove. So we want to cover it really. So what I would do is just get a long magnet, like so. I just there you go. Sits on the top of it, and it keeps it within the plastic. Okay. And another long magnet. On the side and on this side, right up to the magnet here. Okay, and then at the bottom, I leave the ash pan in, it sticks out a bit, a bit of a pain, um, but it's okay. Magnet there, and a nice short one, just sort of there. Alrighty. 
Let's get this connected up. Let's sweep it. It's not a very long chimney, this one. Two bars left. Two bars. So if you're using a, a rotary brush, especially the thick stranded ones are, are quite good. When you're in the cowl, of course the brush opens up when you rotate it in the cowl, it cleans the, uh, the the mesh off. But when you bring it in spinning, it sits on top of the liner where it, it go, you know from you go from the cowl to the liner, and you can feel that, which is a good indication you definitely got to the top. Tiny hole in plastic. What's wrong? Come on. Come on. Come on. Put your teeth away, look. Come on. What's up?
Nice straight forward sweep this. Dad's gone out. And he's only just realised. Have a stay with me, Poochie. Well, oh well, I hope you enjoyed that. Water. It's really warm today. I've had some really freezing cold days. Uh, it was fantastic. We're back to the uh, double digits again. What are we at? <coughs> Nearly eight, eight degrees. Too warm. <coughs> <coughs> All right, we'll get that one off. And we'll get that one off. And this one. If we can. Oh, I need a lever. There we go. My fingers were not strong enough. No, he's getting a bit excited, that pupper. Oh, wow. Take a look at that. Uh, do you reckon to that? That's awesome, isn't it? Oh, that's awesome. Loads of. Uh... Has he barked ever since I've been gone? All he's done is bark. <laughs> no, he hasn't. He, when he, when he realised you want the. This fine stuff makes you filters suffer. Let's get that brush off and uh, the rod out. Let us continue.
just going to give the filters a rest and a shake. The filter's struggling then, and the vacuum, the note changed. That fine powder really gets to your filters. Just gonna have a quick check up the chimney to make sure it's clear and it looks good. Oh, yeah, that looks a lot better. We can see the liner now. Couldn't see it before. Wow, oh, beautiful. You can shine the torch in the mirror. And it's just as good as shining it directly up the chimney. Happy with that. Couldn't see a lot before. Okay, right. Let's have a go on the inside. Push around. There's a good coating of soot everywhere. I mean, it doesn't have to be brand new, but you get what you can see. And then we'll get the bricks out in a minute. Clean the bricks. I think I'll empty this over after this job. I want to get to my next job. It's not, uh, it's not good enough really now. Before I take the bricks out, just gonna go hoover them off, hoover the tops. I don't want any surprise, sort of flying everywhere. the amount of soap and it's, I mean, it's not the worst I've ever seen but um, it's quite a bit and this is in a pub and it's on a lot um, I believe they have rooms as well so I'm going to recommend sweeping 
probably twice a year on this one. I'll have a chat about it. I'll probably come back after this burning season. Because we're a little way into the burning season already. And we'll just assess it again then, but I would say come back after the season. Give it a sweep and see what it's like then. Alright. So these bed is just lifting up. That's just not bad stuff, that's because everything comes out lovely. Well, there we go, a bit of salt on the top of the nest. It says struggling, everything comes out lovely, he says. Let's get that one. Let's get that. And that. Okay. And now we go. Lovely, just like a said. Right, we need to have another move on. There's some air in, let's see you. Get the vacuum on that. Make sure that uh, the truck moved the air position. The bar at the bottom, open and closed. There you go. Just a In there, it's not a big deal at the moment. It's going to work around. Get the long nozzly thing out of 
They just look like front bars from a, another stove, don't they? Mm. So we had trouble getting that one out, didn't we? That side one, so we'll get him in first. Like so, slide it like that. seal help seal it against the back of the stove same with the other one things and you can try and rather than using your fingers you can wiggle it around with that one. Gives you a handle. So we've got this thing now with the hooks on, do you remember? Just goes in there. So, no problem. And there's a gap in the front, I think. Right, the, where I vacuumed off up here, the 
trims go around the sides because there's a flue way there and parts clean on top of those and then a little bit goes in the front I believe and there's some little holes in the side here as well plus also it goes up the back so there's a few ways the smoke can go that's good things Out with a little V sort of shape cut into there and then sit against these back bricks when it's in position and that cut out goes there. So put it all the way in, bring them forward and drop down. You see that? And then bring it forward and it drops into place. And the same with this one. Okay, like so, and that bit goes over there, helps keep it all in position, beautiful.
Yeah, I think we're pretty much there. One thing I've noticed. I don't like that much. I want to push that back down itself coming out of the top of the glass. I'm going to use my scraper. behind the glass again. Mm. Okay, there we go, we're all done. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I'm just going to give that a quick smoke test, make sure it's drawing okay. I'm sure it will be. Um, yeah. Have yourselves a great day, and I will see you on my next one. Take it easy now. Bye.